So basically, if your height doesn't start with six feet and you don't make at least six figures, your life is over, you beta cuck. Hey dummy, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beaky and you're not. So today we're gonna have a little science lesson, a little bit of biology. For those of you who are behind times, we basically have our chads and our betas. As Jesse Lee Peterson puts so very eloquently. Beta! Now some people are more chad-like than others. For example, people who have YouTube channels teaching you how to pick up girls. Basically, there are people who are very insecure and they seek the help of chads online in order to attract females. So today, I'm gonna look at these methods in order to tell you whether or not they're true. Because if you're watching videos like this, I think you need all of the help you can get. So there are a couple of videos that I wanna show you. First off, we have a channel called Alpha M. This is what a girl wants you to do, but will never ask. So let's see what I want. I've been a naughty girl, and I need to be spanked. Said no woman ever, which is a problem, because if she wants to be spanked, we would definitely be exactly. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The fact is, there's some things that like every single spicy senorita in the history of spicy senoritas expects us to do as dudes, but they're never gonna tell us. Why won't they tell us? I don't know, maybe let's say because they're crazy. Or maybe it's because they're afraid that if they don't uphold a certain image, they'll be judged and criticized. I don't know, maybe, just maybe. Don't get it twisted. Women are the stronger sex. You know what they, that whole like labor thing? Can you imagine for a second, a dude trying to squeeze something out of their pee hole the size of a lemon? Ah! Okay, so. This video was seen by half a million people. That is half a million people too many. The first thing that she wants you to do but you will never do because she doesn't tell you to do it is actually give her your jacket when she's like, oh, I'm a little bit cold. Be like, yo, Mama Cita, I got you. Come here, baby. Let me let me slip this on. I don't know whether to laugh or like X out this entire video. The second thing that all spicy senoritas want you to do is open the car door. She will never come out and say, please open the car door because it makes me feel like a special princess. Do not do what I did. I open the car door, she gets in, I slam the door, and her hand was still on the door. I broke her hand. Police! Police! So I feel like I know where this video is going. Basically, just do nice gestures that the girl will remember, which I guess isn't all that incorrect. I can't believe you have to make a 12 minute video about it. If I open a door and I see someone behind me, I'm not gonna slam the door in their face. These are just polite things to do. Like, is it really that revolutionary? Number three is compliment her booty. I'm gonna throw in, give it a, give it a little squeeze and be like, damn girl, you've been, you've been working out. All you gotta do is make a big deal about a booty. Women are complicated. Men are uncomplicated. Women complicated. Men uncomplicated yes yeah okay it's simple science the fourth thing that spicy senoritas want you are begging you to do but a lot of dudes are like yo i don't need skincare you're like rocking this like greasy face with like blackheads and zits oh she wants you to be freaking handsome gentlemen she wants you to start taking care of your skin you need to do two things every day in order to have amazing handsome glowing sexy ass skin take shower Wash face. You need to wash your face twice a day. To <gasps> I was just joking, but also not really. If you don't wash your face, what the hell is the matter with you? Literally half of the video is dedicated to a skincare ad. If you need someone to tell you to wash your face, you have bigger problems than trying to attract females. Also, take a goddamn shower. The fifth thing she's not gonna tell you she wants to do, but she wants you to do it, is take her shopping. The women in me love going to shop. I know that as a dude, right, you're like, damn, I don't wanna go to the mall and shop and sit there while you try on things and ask me hard questions like, does this make my butt look fat? The answer is always fat. Oh, girl, no, that, you kidding me? I just wanna squeeze it. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would pick her a freaking flower, which is actually the sixth thing you need to do because she wants you to do it, which is make her feel special. Make her know that you thought of her. I'm getting a little concerned. 6.22 million people need this man to tell them to wash their face, to take a shower, be polite to their significant other. What were you guys doing before? 
The next thing she wants you to do, but she won't actually come out and say, I want you to stand up for me, even when I'm wrong. This is something that, as a dude, you're gonna have to wrap your brain around. When you see like her freaking out or saying something or arguing and she's wrong, you logically are like, yo, I see that other person's point, or maybe you're wrong, or maybe uh, that is absolutely not what she wants. She doesn't want reason, logic, or facts. If someone you love is doing something wrong, you need to tell them that they're doing something wrong. How many videos does this guy have? 1,400. If I'm being honest, if you're seriously watching videos like this, you're already a lost cause. Women want other women to be jealous of them. This is just an undeniable fact. And any woman who says this isn't true, I do not. Yeah, they do. Does anybody have a source to support that claim? This guy seems like the type to argue with me about what my favorite food is. I can't tell what's more concerning, the half a million people who watch this or the 31,000 people who felt so compelled to like it. <sighs> when will the suffering end? Okay, that's enough of whatever this is. The second channel I want to show you is Dre Drexler. Now don't get it twisted, both of these channels are immensely cringe. The difference is Dre Drexler takes himself a little bit too seriously. We're gonna watch one of his videos called Seven Genius Ways to Be the Man That 99.9% .9 of Women Chase After. The first thing that a man does and the first thing that catches his eye or his attention is the appearance of a woman. He's attracted to her booty, her beauty, sorry. <laughs> Women are mainly attracted to that's right. Confidence. <laughs> the thing with these channels, I feel, is they make it seem like women and man are these two separate entities when really you should just be able to communicate with people because they're people. I should probably start my own lifestyle confidence channel. Freaking millions of views for telling people to take a shower. Fear breeds fear. If you let fear stop you from talking to that girl, then you're gonna keep doing that and you're gonna keep letting fear overtake your life. All those cool dudes who get the girls, uh, they don't have no special superpower or anything. Have goals and a purpose. I would encourage you guys just to go out there and try stuff. See what you like, see what you don't like, see what you're good at, what you're bad at. Learn the things that you like. Take care of yourself. Wait. He's actually right. His videos are actually not as bad as I thought they would be. The last channel we're gonna look at, unfortunately, is Alpha Male Strategies. Just looking at his videos overall, I'm getting some Elliot Roger vibes. Fucking hoes is my job because it gives me good material to talk about and shit like that, so it is my job. I've actually seen his videos before. Let me just tell you now, you should not be watching this. It's amazing to me that this guy has an audience. Now, I'm not gonna sit here for 20 minutes to watch this guy's video, and you shouldn't either. Just looking at these comments should give you an idea of, um... The types of people who watch videos like this. I want you guys to know that all these strategies worked, all right? I have did all these strategies before and fucked women. All of them, all right? I've, the first strategy would be the male friend route. That's the weakest route if you ask me. That's when you try to, you know, you really want to fuck her, but you want to play like you her friend and you her buddy and all that other bullshit, all right? The next route would be the beta male provider route. And this is when you basically try to lead with your money. When you try to show a girl that I'm you successful and I can do this for you. What you're basically trying to say is, if you fuck with me, look what I can do for you. The next strategy would be the high value, high value male route. That's the route I preach to you guys. And that's pursuing your purpose and letting the women chase you. Your time is limited. Your time is very valuable. All right, that's the high value male route, all right? That's having your credit on point, your own crib, car, your own your purpose. Bitch, when I give you some of my time, you need to appreciate it. And the last route will be the direct approach route, all right? This is when you, you know, when you meet a woman and you let her know right off the get-go that you want sex, all right? I've used this when I'm like on vacation or something like that. Girl from out of town and stuff like this and she was in New York and she was leaving this place like that and I fucked up with the direct approach. I'm definitely not gonna watch this for another 20 minutes. I do appreciate that he did get to the point very quickly. I really hope that the other 500,000 people watching this are watching it as a joke like I am. Judging by the comments on this video, I have a bad feeling that people actually take this guy seriously. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this. You shouldn't be a jerk like this guy very obviously is. If you actually measure your worth by how many females you can pull, 
you're just not a good person. Now this alpha male strategies guy is the worst type of person. He is intentionally targeting people who are insecure. They're going on YouTube, they're looking up videos like this. I almost feel bad for putting Alpha M and Dre Drexler in the same video as this guy because they're totally not the same thing. Alpha male strategies is just plain flat out sexist. And it goes way beyond cringe, it's kind of dangerous. But anyways, please don't take advice from these online YouTube gurus, please. Now I have to be honest with you, even after watching all of these videos, I do not feel like an alpha male. Now if you've made it this far, if you watch channels that have the word alpha in it and you actually watch videos like these, or if you go on our red pill on reddit, if you truly believe that you can understand an entire gender, that people can actually be whittled down to a 30 minute video, please I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm literally begging you, please go outside. See you in the next one.